No, we have Kurt Vonnegut, right? I spoke with him earlier. I forgot because we already did this today. Uh, he is the legendary author of Slaughterhouse Five and Breakfast of Champions. His latest book is A Man Without a Country. Kurt Vonnegut, everybody. Kurt Vonnegut. How you doing? Well enough, thanks. Well, I'm thrilled you're here. Uh, when uh, all this went down uh, in the last couple of weeks, you know, a flood is kind of biblical. And uh, I thought, let's get someone on here who can, uh, who's really seen it all and who can uh, compare this to other, how would you compare this to other fiascos and disasters that this country has seen? Well, this country was already uh, financially and spiritually ruined before uh, the hurricane ever hit New Orleans. I was thought about this tsunami and hitting Indonesia. Nature was uh, a piker compared to human beings when it comes to killing people. Uh, that the tsunami uh, killed, I think I calculated about three percent as many people as the Holocaust killed. What, what do you, uh, as a writer, what, when you see President Bush, uh, is there something tragic there? Is that a story that appeals to a writer? Because here's a guy like most tragic figures who is trying very hard to avoid something. In his case, he was trying very hard to avoid the fate of his father. And then he's undone by a war in Iraq and a hurricane. Yes. Well, he, uh, it, it's, it's a tragedy for me that he's president of my country. Uh, and uh, he, he doesn't, you know, I, my book is called A Man Without a Country. Well, I've still got a passport, uh, but if I, showed this now in Portugal or Spain or Italy or Germany or France or uh, Denmark or Japan or even communist China, what it would say about me is that uh, I am not only from the richest country in the world, but the dumbest country in the world. Uh, is our president, that's a tragic figure perhaps, uh, but he doesn't know diddly squat uh, about economics or history or science, even how to speak well. Yeah. Well, you're not going to get a fight of me, out of me there. Um, in, in your new book, you make a very interesting point about how the Republican right is always wanting to post the Ten Commandments in public places, uh, which of course is from the Old Testament, but they never ever seem to want to post the sayings of Jesus, like the Beatitudes, blessed are the meek, blessed are yes. the merciful, blessed are the peacemakers. Yes. They're such Christians, but they never want to put up what Jesus said. Well, I, I don't think they've ever paid any attention to him. And if he were to show up now with that kind of talk, I, I think he would uh, probably be given lethal injection rather than crucifixion. <laughs> no, I don't think they know anything about Jesus. Yeah, you said this in the new book. You said about the planet, we could have saved it, but we were just too damn cheap and lazy. Yes. Uh, we are killing the, the planet as a life support system, and, uh, and we may have gone so far already that there's no recovery from it. The game may be over. Right. Uh, just would that be a bad up. thing? <laughs> would that be a bad thing? I know you've said things like No, it, look, it's... I think it's, I think the Earth's immune system is trying to get rid of us, and, and it's high time they did. It's, my goodness, is we are a disease on the face of this planet. You know, after ah, two world wars and the Holocaust and Hiroshima and Nagasaki and, and well, the Roman games and the Spanish Inquisition and the burning of women in public squares, uh, it's time we got out of here. And you left out the I, gong show. Yeah, but I, we are a disease on the on the planet, and I think uh, we ought to become syphilis with a con with a conscience and stop reproducing. Well, I'm going to do my part, <laughs> and I know you'll do yours. Kurt Vonnegut, I thank you very much for making time out to talk to us, and good luck with the book. Kurt thank Vonnegut, you. everybody. Wow.